I'm going to use the button teach method to teach Pixie an object. And um, you don't have to have Pixiemon up and running, but it's nice to have the feedback. So the way we do the button teach mode is we hold down the button and then wait for it to go red and then we release and then it's in what's called light piping mode. And um, you can see it's giving us good feedback on the LED, um, whether we have good lock on our object. And we can also see Piximon's giving us some feedback too about, um, uh, yeah, whether it's got uh, a, a good region that it's, that it's uh, identified. So, but looking at just the LED, I can tell that it's got a good lock and I'll just click it. And um, you can see it's got, uh, it's got a good lock on the object. And uh, I can do that with another object, in this case, a green ball. So in this case, I'll uh, hold down the button and then wait for it to turn orange, which is the second signature. So right now, we're, we're again, we're in teach mode, in light pipe mode. I look at the LED, I've got a good lock, I click, and now we've learned another object. And uh, we can keep on doing that. Let's do one more. Here's the uh, purple dinosaur. Hold down the button, wait for it to turn yellow this time for the third signature. And I'm going to bring this guy in real close. Click. And so here's, here's something that's interesting. Um, we don't have as good of a lock, but what we can do is we can actually um, turn it down a little bit using these sliders. And uh, you can see now we've got a, we've got a good lock. Where, whereas before, you know, it was, it was actually getting more than just the object. With, uh, with these new sliders, um, you can just kind of tune it in, kind of like, you know, it's a graphic equalizer. There's none of this minimum saturation or, or minimum hue kind of, or hue range kind of stuff. There's just one slider per signature, and all it, all it does is it adjusts how inclusive you are or how uninclusive you are. So in this case, you dial it into a nice medium, and there you go. Um, so these are our objects. And um, it actually looks like we need to dial this one down a little bit. And um, these are our three objects.